you doing? Yay! It's nice walking around the city like this. Just the two of us. Yeah, it is. It's almost like we're lovers, right? Uh, uh, I... that might be taking it a little too far. Come on, a boy and a girl out on the town having a nice time together. We're practically dating already. I... I don't think that's how it works. I mean, we're not at that level, so... You know, Yuma. Some people say going on dates like this is a little thing called fate accompli. A foregone conclusion, right? I, um, I don't know if that really applies here. But if we keep doing this, then it's bound to happen eventually, right? So, Yuma, any plans for our wedding? Something big and showy or small and intimate? But you're moving a little fast, don't you think? Besides, this is our first date. We're not even together or any of that stuff. So you can't just talk about marriage like it's just... Uh... <laughs> Wait. You're messing with me, aren't you? Yuma, you are so red right now. It's the most adorable thing. Were you really taking me seriously? You look so embarrassed. <sighs> She's teasing me again. I want to get back at her, but I can't say anything. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with her if I just rely on my words. What should I do, hmm? Rina, you've got something on your shoulder. Huh? What is it? Hold still, I'll get it. Ah! Whoa! Are you okay? Where are you touching? Huh? There was something on your shoulder. I just brushed it off. Just brushed it off, huh? Then why did I feel something on my neck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my sleeve might have brushed against you? Sorry, I didn't know it would have this much of an effect on you. Well, the thing is, my neck is, 
One of my weak spots. Kind of. Be more careful next time. There are serious consequences for making a lady squeak in public. Oh, okay. I'll be careful from now on. Oh. I guess I found one of Rinna's weaknesses somehow. But I better not do it again. something? Oh, hello there. Good day. Nice walk. Yeah. It's. Uh, I. Uh. But. Wait. We saw. <laughs> wait. He, uh, I don't. Hmm? Hold still. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Just. Uh. Sorry. Well. Be more. Oh. Wow. Oh.
Did you need something? What do you need? What do you need? Which one? Which one? Which one? Be careful. We've been spotted. We 
We've been spotted. Look, they found us. Let's go. I'm with you. Get ready. No matter what. Been spotted. Ha! 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 
Work today. How are you? Easy. Yes. Should be easy. I can see no problems. I can see no problems. Going. Welcome. Take your pick. Take your pick. This one. I'm rooting this for one. You. This one. Well, good luck. Take your pick. Take your pick. Have a nice day.
be easy. Enemy approaching. Is there no other way? Don't let your guard down. I'll take care of you. Can we do it? Don't let your guard down. I'm free on it. Nicely done. Yes. Get ready. Here they come. Get ready. Here they come. I foresee no problems. Yes! Huh? I could have sworn I saw... Is it... gone? That's weird. We couldn't have missed... Missed who? Careful, everyone. They're carrying a dragon soul. I can sense it. You shouldn't be here. Get out. Now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Or pay the price. All right, you little ghost. You want some of this? Wait! Yuma? What's wrong? I know her. I mean... I know them. What? You, you saying this ghost is a friend of yours? She's not a ghost. I met her a few times back at Galritz. There were twins there, and she's the sister. Sister? No, I'm a boy. My name's Et. Don't get us mixed up. Wait, you're the brother? Something wrong, Yuma? Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. So, you remember me, huh? Yeah. My sister Marion liked you for some reason. What? I think that's enough chit-chat for now, Et. Y yoim <laughs> My, it's been a while. You know this guy too? Yeah. He was at Gelrit's prison too. He's the Magus that was experimenting on us. <laughs> oh, the time we had together in Gelrit's. Didn't you have fun? Fun? I never want to be part of your sick experiments again. Oh, really? A shame. It certainly was fun for me. Just remembering your screams gives me such a rush. You gave me quite a shock, you know. All that time and you managed to hide the shining dragon from my analytic sacrament. I've kept your cell nice and warm. Be a good little guinea pig and come back to me. I'll take care of you. Listen to me! I'm never going back! Is that so? Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Et? Uh, 
Et, are you listening? I'm giving you an order. Teach those ingrates a lesson. Fine. Et! What do you see? My heart is fulfilled. I call upon the rhythm of nature. I feel confident with you. Time for punishment. I'm backing you up. I'll keep you safe. Let's go together. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of that. I'll keep you safe. Is your eye? Don't touch me! Well, well, what have we here? Your left eye hurts, which means a defect in the magic oculum. Curious, curious indeed. I've never observed this kind of feedback before. I wonder what could be causing it. <coughs> Hello in there. Are you all right, Et? Damn it! Damn it! I... I'm... <coughs> <coughs> Ah, of course. I see now. It's the Shining Dragon. It's possible the Dragon Soul was exposed to the Shining Dragon for too long, and now there's some struggle for control. I suppose that's only natural, since the eye was only implanted with a common Dragon Soul. Implanted? Et, have you calmed down? <laughs> The pain's starting to go away. I think I'm okay now. Indeed. Good. Well, I see no ruins here. I doubt I'll find any of the world dragons either. A shame, but it seems I've wasted my time. And I can hardly capture the shining dragon like this. Perhaps it's time I called it a day. Time to go, Et. Wait! What was that about your eye? Shut up. Uh. Et! He's gone. Guess the Flash was just to let him escape. Et, why are you doing this? Yuma, were you friends with that boy? I knew him, but... We weren't really that close. We just saw each other now and then. Apparently, I didn't even know them well enough to tell them apart. I guess I was wrong about what happened to Ed. What do you mean? Back when I was at Galrit's prison, I overheard the guards talking. It sounded like they put Ed through some insane experiment. And he didn't survive. Damn. But that was him, right? I guess. I must have misunderstood. Either that experiment never happened, or... Or maybe it was actually Marion that died. I'm not sure. I see. I can no longer sense a dragon soul. Its aura faded with Et's departure. Whatever else this cavern may hold, it appears there are no world dragon souls here. Back to square one. So where are we supposed to look now? Hmm. Well, if we're searching for ruins, there could be some records left. Might be time for some research in the castle library. Oh, good idea. I'll give you a hand with that. Wait, you? Hey, don't give me that look. I study ancient history sometimes, okay? It's not a big deal. Besides, I'm a seasoned traveler, a man of the world. I know the lay of the land here in Alfheim. Wow, I guess you wandering off on your own actually came in handy for once. Okay, let's do it. Well, now we've got that figured out, let's head back to Astoria. Rinna, Agnum? I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, we're on the case.
Okay. What's on your mind? Good day. How's it going? Would you like a forecast? Yes! <laughs> hey! How's that eye? Has the pain gone down? I'm fine. I can barely feel it anymore. Hmm. Well, that confirms it. The presence of the Shining Dragon was causing some kind of interference.
The question is, how to proceed? If the Shining Dragon has the power to influence the magic oculum, ultimately that power may cause serious stress upon the eye, or even control it directly. Most concerning. The Shining Dragon's power is a potent force indeed. What's this about the Shining Dragon? Oh, if it isn't zest in the flesh. What brings you here? Skip the small talk. Tell me about the Shining Dragon. Oh, that. Et and I were out searching for world dragon souls when we happened upon the Dragoneers. Looks to me like they cut your little puppet strings. In a word, yes. But one wonders what they were doing there in the first place. They may even be after the world dragon souls themselves. Really? So the shining dragon's around here, huh? I won't get my hopes up, but I guess I might as well go see what he looks like. Hmm? Did you say something? Nah. Nothing important. Hey, Yoahim. If the Shining Dragon's wandering around here, your investigation will get pretty risky. I could come along if you want. You? Well, it certainly would be reassuring to have a guard of your caliber along. But it begs one question. Why? I'm bored out of my mind is why. Better out in the world than stuck at the base. Yeah. This will be a lot more fun. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, in any case, welcome aboard. We'll leave as soon as I finish recalibrating Ant. Any idea where we're headed? Oh, I know exactly where we're going. And a world dragon soul awaits us, ripe for the picking. Have Rena and Agnum returned yet? They've been gone for some time. They've been cooped up in the archive since we got back. Sounds like they're having a hard time finding anything. Makes sense. The Royal Library's stuffed with all kinds of old records, tomes. If that is the case, I imagine they will be a while longer. I shall retire to my room. Please excuse me. Leaving? Yes. I intend to prepare my supplies so that I may leave at a moment's notice. Fair enough. Maybe I'll go do some maintenance on my weapon. I can wait here then. I'll go get you when they come back. Really? Thanks. I should be going. Excuse me. <sighs> I don't mind waiting, but it's kind of boring. Huh? Is it just you here? Where'd everybody go? Huh? Oh, they went to their rooms to get their things ready. But I just made everyone some tea. Hmm. Uh, you want some? Sure, thanks. Ooh. What's up? That's a pretty music box. Is it yours? Huh? Oh, this? Yeah, it's mine. I was just bored, so I thought I'd take a look at it. What song does it play? Let me hear, let me hear. Oh, sorry. I actually don't have the key to wind it so I can't play it. Huh? You're carrying around a music box you can't play. That's kind of weird. I don't remember the details, but there was a girl who rescued me when I was little. She gave this to me. Oh, it sounds pretty important to you, huh? I'm sorry I said it was weird. No, it's okay. It probably just looks like a plain old box to anyone else. To be honest, I can't even remember her face, but I've always hoped I'd see her again, so I can't just get rid of it, you know? Wow, I guess you better take good care of it then. Yeah. Uh, whoa, what was that? They've done it, I say, they've finally done it! Rina and Agnum have found another unexplored ruin! Really? Really and truly, they're waiting just outside, so please prepare to leave at once. I'll be right there. Oh, I should get Sonia and Kirika. Now let us sally forth! Onward to the Jinkarna Ruins!